Hi, it's Megan, and welcome back to the Learn to Monetize More video series. For this tutorial, we'll explore setting up key values in DFP to improve ad targeting. Oftentimes, your audience targeting dictates how you should serve your ads, and insights from targeting allow you to customize your ads to maximize revenue. Sometimes, DFP does not have the specific key value pairs you need, and that's when you'll want to set up your own custom key values. You can set up targeting by age groups, gender, or other features that you define. We'll now teach you how to do that in DFP. Let's get started. One caveat before we get started. When customizing key value targeting, it's important that you do not pass what could be personally identifiable information onto DoubleClick per the terms of the contract between publishers and DFP. Having said that, this leaves a great deal of room in terms of targeting criteria. Data such as age, gender, or interests are details that DFP would otherwise not track, yet these details can easily be tracked by inputting key values on the publisher's trafficking side. One of the best ways to convert your visitors into a loyal audience is to know more about them. Through understanding who they are, you can optimize your site and the ads you serve based on metric data gleaned through, you guessed it, key value targeting. In a nutshell, here's an overview of how to use key value targeting. Create key values in DFP, target your line items to these newly created key values, and then pass the key values into your source code by either hard coding the key values so that they remain static or passing the key values dynamically. We will go into more detail about how to add key values to your site's source code in the second half of this lesson. We'll begin our lesson with the Inventory tab in DFP. Scan the left-hand panel and look for the Key Values link. Once you've found it, click it, and on the subsequent option, click New Key. Since we are creating a new key value, we need to assign it a name that will be used in the ad tag. For our example, let's say we want to track female site visitors. So we will name our new key value Gender equals Female in the Name box. This is the key value appendage of what we would see within the ad tag embedded on the web page. Because DFP allows you to name the key value identifier within the ad tag, as well as input how the key value will be displayed during trafficking and reporting, we need to enter a name in the display name box as well. In this example, we'll go ahead and input the same name, gender equals female, into the display name box. This identifier communicates to our traffickers and reporting team what this specific key value tracks. After naming the ad tag and display name, we must select whether we want to enter targeting values when creating line items or predefined key values. In the latter, key values can be predefined or freeform. What's the difference? Freeform key values allow you to define the key, but the values will be dynamically passed to the ad tag based on information about a user or their behavior, such as what keywords they searched for. It's great for when you aren't quite sure what the targeting values will be in advance. Conversely, if you have a good idea of your site visitor's characteristics and behavior, then you may want to use predefined key values. The key you predefine will remain hard-coded within the ad tag. Finally, we can click Add Values to enter the targeting values separated by line breaks and click Apply. The values will populate in the Add tag. Let's move on to Part 2 of this lesson, which will be a primer on adding key values into your site's source code. There are two ways to go about it. Which option you choose depends on whether you want your key values to remain static or if you want your key values to pass dynamically. How do you add key values to your source code? We have a couple of different options. In the first option, we can hard code the key value in the source code. By hard coding the key value, the values will be fixed and remain static. How you hard code the key values into your source code is very site dependent. Your site's design influences the specific way you implement the key values into your source code. If you want the key values to pass dynamically, you may opt for the second option. In the second option, your key values can be programmed to pass values dynamically within your source code. 
For example, to pass dynamic key values such as their age, gender, or interests, you will first need your website users to register and provide user details. Those anonymous user details could be stored within each page that they browse. You can place code that would insert that user detail as the value to be targeted. Here is an example of what a dynamic key value implementation looks like. Whether you hard code or pass the key values dynamically, the method of implementing the values into your source code depends on your site layout and design. You can find more information on coding and how it may fit into your site's structure and key value targeting requirements via the link in the summary of this video. As you can see, key value targeting is a fantastic way to learn more about your website audience. And the more context you have about your audience, the more finely tuned the creatives you serve to them. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.